Well, this video shows a Spokane man being shot by police while serving an eviction notice. Police officer Scott Heiss and Spokane County Sheriff's Deputy Sam Palmer shot Ron Aker last March at his apartment in Hilliard. They say when they arrived, Aker was uncooperative and went for his gun. For the first time tonight, we see the body cam footage from that morning. It was used as evidence to decide if the officer's decisions to shoot were reasonable. Our Nikki Torres working for you with this update tonight. In March 2018, three Spokane police officers and one Spokane sheriff's deputy entered Ronald Aker's apartment to serve him with an eviction notice. That's pretty obvious, dude. We're not here to attack. I mean, I'm going to play football before, you know. I'm, I'm seeing you guys as possible. You know it's close. Inside Aker's apartment, they found the 36 year old sitting on a couch under a blanket. Well, unfortunately, we have a court order. No, you need to contact the federal government. And you're going to be obstructing that court order. Dude, you need to contact the federal government. Officers tried talking Aker into leaving the apartment. After several minutes, it was clear to officers Aker was not going to cooperate. Watch, 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 watch. He's got a rifle. Back out, back out, back out, back out, rifle. Officers notice Aker reaching under his blanket. That's when one of the officers realized there was a gun. Wouldn't comply with orders to remove his hands. The officers were then able to see him starting to remove a rifle with a scope mounted on it from underneath. Body cam video shows Aker continuing to grab his weapon. They deployed lethal force by firing their handguns at him. That Spokane police officer Scott Heiss opened fire, as did Spokane Sheriff's Deputy Sam Palmer. Even then, Aker didn't comply. He would not let go of his rifle. Shots fired, shots fired. Officer Heiss and Deputy Palmer fired again. I can't hear. He's still moving. He's got something in his other hand. Show me hands. In total, Heiss fired seven times and Deputy Palmer eight. Aker eventually let go of his rifle and showed officers his hands. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. With your other hand, put it above your head. They were then able to get him into custody and give him medical attention. When investigators searched Aker's apartment, they found his rifle was loaded with four rounds. Aker was taken to the hospital with multiple gunshot wounds and at least two broken bones. In September, the police investigation found the shooting was justified. Neither man will face criminal charges.